is a plus h ok so a is equal to 25 and h is equal to 4 <coughs> so our function is f x is equal to root x so f of a is equal to a replaced by 25 that is root 25 that is equal to 5 square root of 25 is equal to 5 we find the derivative of root x. So, derivative of root function is 1 upon 2 root x. We check the value at the point a. So, 1 f of f dash 25 that is 1 upon 2 root 25. Root 25 is 5. So, it is 1 by 10. So, here value of f a that is 5. Value of f dash a that is 1 by 10. Now, we find out another derivative of this. In a sec first derivative, first derivative is 1 upon 2 root of x. So, 1 by 2 common root x means x raised to minus half power is there. 1 by root x is given. So, power of x is minus half. So, now the second derivative is minus 1 by 4 x raised to minus 3 by 2 as uh, 1 by 2 is already there. So, if we take x raised to minus half derivative then 1 by 2 multiplied by minus 1 by 2. So, now it is minus 1 by 4 and uh, x raised to minus 1 by 2 minus 1. So, now x raised to minus 3 by 2. We find the value at the point a. Therefore, f double dash a is equal to f double dash 25 is equal to minus 1 by 4 25 raised to minus 3 by 2. So, 25 power minus 3 by 2. So, 25 is a square of 5. So, 5 square by 2 is there. So, 2 to cancel 5 raised to 3 is a 125, but a negative power indicates the term in the denominator. So, 5 raised to minus 3 that is 1 upon 20, 125 and uh, 125 multiplied by 4. So, result gives us minus 1 upon 500. Now, f double dash x is equal to minus 1 by 4 x raised to minus 3 by 2. Now, we take derivative of this. So, f triple dash is equal to minus 1 by 4 multiplied by minus 3 by 2. So, minus minus plus 3 in the denominator and 4 to the 8. So, now it is 3 by 4 8 x raised to minus 3 by 2 minus 1. So, now it is x raised to minus 5 by 2. So, this is the third derivative of root x. Now, we find the value at the point a. So, f triple dash a is equal to f triple dash 25 that is equal to 3 by 8, 25 raised to minus 5 by 2. Now, again 5, 25 replaced by 5 square, 2 to cancel, 5 raised to minus 5, ok. So, result gives us 3 upon 25,000, ok. So, in this calculation, we have root 20 f of a is equal to 5, f dash a is equal to 1 by 10, f double dash a is equal to minus 1 by 5000 and uh, f triple dash a is equal to 3 by 25000. Now, by the Taylor series, this is the formula as we derived earlier f of a plus h is equal to f of a plus h upon 1 factorial f dash a plus h square by 2 factorial f double dash a and the so on. Okay. Now, in this example, We take uh, x is equal to 29 that is a uh, 25 plus 4 a plus h value of a is 25 and h is equal to 4. So, a plus h that is a uh, root 29 because we find out value of root 29 f of a that is a uh, we already derived that is 5 value of h is 4. So, 4 by 1 factorial value of f dash a that is 1 by 10 value of h square means 4 square by 2 factorial and uh, double derivative is minus 1 upon 500 plus 4 raised to 3 by 3 factorial into 3 by 25,000. Okay? We already derived the value f of a is equal to 5, f dash a is equal to 1 by 10, f double dash a is equal to minus 1 by 5,000 and uh, f triple dash a is equal to 3 by 25,000. Okay? Now, we simplify this data. So, 5 as it is. 1 factorial is 1, so it is 4 by 10 means 0 0.4, 5 as it is, 1 factorial is 1, so 4 by 10, uh, 4 square is 16, 
and uh, 2 factorial is 2 so 16 by 2 gives us 8 upon 500 4 raised to 3 is equal to 64 3 factorial is given and uh, 3 factorial is 6 so 3 multiply by here then 4 cube 64 divided by 2 32 by 25,000 so first term as it is 5 4 by 10 0 0.4 minus 8 by 500 that is 0 0.016 and uh, 32 by 25,000 that will be 0 0.00128 ok. So, here infinite terms are given here, but we find out approximate value of root 25. So, if we calculate by the normal calculator or standard calculator then answer is approximately 5.385 ok and the uh, question is find the value of root 25 in a uh, 3 decimal places. So, when we find out root 25 exact value ok that this value is nearest to root 25 root 29 original value ok. So, in this calculation we find the first of all f of a means 5 f dash a f double dash a and so on, but uh, our value of x 29 we converted into addition of 2 number that is 5 and 4 ok means 5 square is 25 plus 4 is there and the answer is 5.385 approximately. Next example using Taylor series formula evolution of sin 44 degree up to 3 decimal places ok. In the previous example we find out value of root 29 and uh, question is here root sin of 44 degree ok. We know that the value of sin 45 that is 1 by root 2 we have the value of sin 30 that is 1 by 2, we have the value of sin 60 degree that is 1 root 3 by 2, but here question is sin 44 degree ok. So, normally we use the scientific calci according to value of sin 44 degree, but in this method we use the expansion of Taylor series formula and uh, we evaluate the value of sin 44 degree up to 3 decimal places ok. So, now question is find the sin 44 degree, so our function is sin x as we already derived the expansion of sin x by Maclaurin series, but here question is using the Taylor series sin x uh, now we compare the formula in the question is sin 44 degree is there and uh, now question is sin x is there. So, if we compare this two then x is equal to 44 ok. Now, we converted into nearest value which is possible ok means uh, we know that the value of sin 0 degree, we know the value of sin 30 degree, we have the value of sin 60 degree, sin 45 degree, sin 90 degree ok. Now, 44 degree is the nearest to 45 degree as we know sin 45 degree is 1 by root 2. So, we converted into 45 degree minus 1 degree we also consider into 30 degree plus 14 degree, we also consider as a 60 degree minus uh, 16 degree, but nearest value of 44 degree that is 45 degree minus 1 degree as our calculation in terms of a number. So, we converted 1 degree as a number. So, 45 degree as it is and according to number 1 degree is replaced by minus pi by 180 radian and uh, pi is equal to 22 by 7 or 3.14 ok. So, now the formula x is equal to a plus h. So, first value 45 degree replaced by a, second value minus pi by 180 replaced by h ok. So, value of a is equal to 45 degree and value of h is equal to minus pi by 180 that is 22 by 7 in a calculation otherwise 3.14 ok. Sometimes it is given in the data use the value of pi as a 22 by 7 or as pi 3.14 ok, but here we take minus pi by 180 as the value of h ok. In our previous example we know that in the previous example we take a x 29 is equal to 25 plus 4, well value of a is 25 and value of h is 4. So, in this calculation our value of h is plus 4 that is positive, but in this example in this example value of a is 45 degree 
and value of h is equal to minus pi by 180 okay so in this example h is decrement in the previous one h is increment okay so now function is sin x our value of a is 45 degree so we find out f of a that is f of 45 degree means uh, x replaced by 45 so sin 45 degree 1 by root 2 our question is sin x so we find a function is sin x we find the first derivative of this so derivative of sin function is cos x we put the value at the point to 45 degree so f dash a is equal to f dash 45 degree that is cos 45 degree is equal to again cos 45 is also 1 by root 2 we find out derivative of cos x so derivative of cos x is minus sin x so second derivative f double dash x is equal to minus sin x we find the value at the point 45 degree so f double dash a is f double dash 45 x replaced by 45 so minus sin 45 as we know that sin 45 is 1 by root 2 so this is minus 1 upon root 2 we find the derivative of sin x that is plus cos x but uh, minus follow from the second derivative so minus sin x derivative is minus cos x now we find the value so f triple dash a is equal to f triple dash at the point 45 degree is equal to minus cos 45 degree answer is cos 45 is 1 by root 2 so answer minus 1 by root 2 ok so in this calculation we take uh, a is equal to 45 degree ok and uh, we find out value at the point value at the function f 45 that is 1 by root 2 we find the value at uh, f dash a that is 1 upon root 2 we find the value f double derivative that is minus 1 by root 2 third derivative that is minus 1 by root 2 so values like uh, 1 by root 2 1 by root 2 minus 1 by root 2 and uh, minus 1 by root 2 so by the taylor series we have the formula f of a plus h is equal to f of a plus h upon 1 factorial f dash a plus h square upon 2 factorial f double dash a and so on ok but in this example we take a a plus h is equal to in this example we take a a plus h is equal to 45 degree minus pi by 180 means the uh, value of a is 45 as we derive the value of this and uh, value of h is minus pi by 180 so this is the formula f of a plus h this is equal to f a plus and so on now f a is 45 degree and h is minus 1 degree so it is 44 degree so function value is sin 44 degree value of f of a we derive 1 by root 2 we know that 1 by root 2 1 by root 2 minus 1 by root 2 minus 1 by root 2 and so on so value of f of a is equal to 1 by root 2 h is minus pi by 180 as we converted into number radian number minus pi by 180 because h is minus 1 degree so 1 upon 1 factorial as it is value of h is minus pi by 180 and uh, value of f dash is 1 by root 2 value of h square is there so 1 upon 2 factorial 2 factorial as it is and uh, value of h square means of minus pi by 180 square into double derivative value is minus 1 by root 2 plus similarly third term is not given but uh, if we expand then it is 1 upon 3 factorial minus pi upon 180 cube into minus 1 by root 2 ok so sin 44 degree is equal to 1 by root 2 plus now simplification of 1 factorial is 1 pi is 22 by 7 2 factorial is 2 again pi is 22 by 7 we take a square of this and then minus 1 by root 2 so plus 1 upon 3 factorial that is 6 pi is replaced by 22 by 7 uh, and uh, multiply by minus 1 by root 2 ok so if we expand this then answer is 0 0.694 approximately ok
if we take a calculation of this by calculator then the result is approximately 0 0.0694 as we know that maximum value of sine function is plus 1 and uh, minimum value of sine means the range of sine function is close interval minus 1 to 1 so value does not exit then 1 so when we calculate sine 44 degree according to scientific calci then it is approximately 0 0.694 something but here question is we find a value up to 3 decimal places ok after decimal places 3 decimal places are there and uh, here we find out it is approximately 0 0.694 ok so in this two example first example is a uh, root 29 and uh, second example is sin 44 so value of sin 44 degree is 0 0.694 approximately ok so in this uh, in this topic first of all we apply the taylor series formula then after maclaurin series Okay, this formula is given that this is called another form of a Taylor series. Okay, this is the formula of a Taylor series, and uh, if we replace x minus a is equal to h, then we have the value of x that is a plus h, and uh, h may be positive or may be negative as we seen in the example. First root is 29, root 29, and second one is 44 degree. Okay, so f of a plus h is given, f of a plus h upon. So according to this formula we can find the any value of any other function means uh, suppose root 29 is given then we find out value of root 29 approximately 2 decimal places or 3 decimal places or sin 44 degree is given ok so according to this formula suppose some questions are they find the cube root of any number where number is not perfect cube ok and uh, another function cos 46 degree so we find out value of that ok so by this formula we find the value of uh, form, uh, f of a plus h by 1 factor ok so h may be positive or may be negative ok so in this one is the root 29 is given so you take any other function suppose fourth root cube root any other function suppose log 3 point something or so on so sometimes uh, we use the function log x and uh, up to 3 decimal places so by this formula we find the value of approximate value of any other function where a function value is not possible if we have no scientific calcium.